Hi, this is Susan Oros of MoonOros.one, also known as Revealing the Jewels of Autism. Um, popping in quickly for a quick vlog for this November 1st, 2024 new moon. I am sitting outside, so there might be some background noise. Sitting with Chris in one area and Sammy in the other area. So just in case you hear background noise, this is audio only, so meant to be a vlog. So um, this is the only slide, so you, you can just listen. There's a, quite a, a, a lot going on, as many of you listening can feel. One of the things that happened maybe two weeks ago or so was a very powerful transmissions that, I, that felt like it was coming from black holes, which are birthing galaxies from Virgo. Something also was saying, uh, also Andromeda transmissions are, are coming in through um, the galaxy Andromeda, transmitting um, right now I'm seeing beams from Andromeda that were transmitting into uh, these black holes in Virgo. So I know they're not, I'm not sure what location they're in, but uh, I'm seeing beams, which I hadn't seen before, of course, you know, until you start uh, doing something like this. So these transmissions felt like they were coming in really powerfully and doing something to the neurons, the neurology of the physical body. And um, really quite a lot going on with this um, repairing, even dendrites is what I was getting. And earlier this week too, we are getting transmissions from Virgo, gamma rays was coming in and I could feel my head and my gut really uh, affected. So it was the same, I could tell that it was the same energy uh, in my head and my gut. And what that was telling me is uh, uh, a neurology or a mental and emotional merge. So we've kind of talked about this in the past where Sammy I said that they're really supposed to be one on uh, the mental and emotional body. Um, so this is part of the healed and masculine coming in. And so it feels like all aspects that are masculine and feminine, what we consider masculine and feminine, positive and negative charge, electric, magnetic, they're all... Um, been healed and now they are i don't know if merge is the is the right word but coming into a new sort of balance a correction really the correct balance so um in 13th sign true sky astrology or some people call it sidereal astrology but it's what's in the actual sky so we've been in virgo for actually quite a long time i can't remember the dates exactly but Virgo is a, my understanding is that Virgo is a very large constellation and won't be going in and will be entering Libra, um, I think, November 3rd, 4th in that time frame. So we're still actually in Virgo is my understanding. And there's a lot of transmissions coming from Virgo. Um, one thing that I want to note is that yesterday I started feeling the mother art gates the mother art gates to me are uh it's like through the 13th dimension which accesses into the let's just say cosmic mother for the sake of uh simplicity and these uh gateways that are on the planet what they feel like is they access into the quantum it's not even the right word, I feel like. I think we're going to come up with something different. 
Sunday, but you know, the very, very um, rudimentary uh, substances that make up, that would make up matter. I mean, I don't even want to call it a particle because at that level, a particle doesn't even, doesn't exist. They're, they're waves, waveforms, maybe even um, the, the, uh, the thought of creation, the breath of mother, in a sense, those are the kinds of words that are coming up. And so um, these mother art gates, uh, it felt like, again, getting these transmissions, and they're all um, kind of dimensional. The 13th gate sort of is the center point um, of the mother, and then there's like 12 gates that are around the planet as well. So um, accessing into these quantum substances, uh, so to speak. And so we're getting these transmissions and it feels like the states of matter are changing even more. Let's say it's, it's freeing up matter. And the, one of the ways that I'm experiencing it physically is that it's uh, releasing, affecting the the organs and the body parts and the body systems even that um, may be holding emotional, past emotional traumas or memories. You know, I know we've all uh, been through this, you know, how much clearing can we do? We keep clearing and then there's more and there's more. Um, so, uh, you know, I've healed as much as I can up to this point. Um, and given our circumstances and the way we live and everything. So now we're getting down to the actual physical. So there were things that I felt like I couldn't, didn't have access to before to be, quote, healed. So as an example, one of the things um, that I've been having is issues with digestion, um, the intestines and the stomach, small intestine, you know, all of that, uh, having trouble kind of eating as it's releasing, but does it also have to do with changing density, uh, changing states of matter, you know, I mean, it's all, it's kind of all tied in together. And then this is allowing for a, a full embodiment that we haven't been able to experience before in a form of density. Um, even in Lemuria or Tara, I feel like this is, this is different in a sense. I won't go into that. But um, so one of the things coming up for me as an example, um, and some of you know that I had uh, breast cancer treatment like in 2000, starting to late 2008, 2009, in that time frame. And uh, my stomach was having, like, what is going on here? Why does it hurt, you know? Uh, and why don't I want to digest? It was those, it's those kinds of issues. And one of the drugs, chemotherapy drugs that I received was, uh, made me really sick. It's the one that makes you lose your hair. I had very aggressive treatment because... Um, I didn't know any better, first of all, and I had, you know, obviously, I, my, I have three children, and they were small at that age, and then two of them with special, severe special needs, let's say. So I had very aggressive treatment, and one of them was uh, this um, uh, algae, and I still remember this red algae going in through my, uh, you know, the IV line into your uh into your uh, circulatory system. It just makes you sick. But so it's like this memory of this, um, putting this substance in that made me sick. And um, so it's like the, the tissues, the stomach lining, the stomach, the cells of the, the stomach were holding this memory. Even, you know, if we change cells, um, New cells are born, you know, certain ones die. But um, 
that kind of cellular memory is running through the body and uh, it was re- it was like it was it felt like it was remembering those kinds of things. So um, I'm just looking at the time because I have to keep it short here. But uh, so again, going back to this notion of uh, masculine, feminine, positive, negative charge, even yin and yang, um, that's coming together. So what one of the things that was coming up this morning. Um, was this idea of the lungs are a yin organ. Uh, this is from my, a friend of mine who's a uh, acupressure, acupressure trained. So um, the lungs are yin, the, I hope I'm saying this correctly, and uh, uh, large intestines are yang, and they uh, are like a, a masculine and a feminine. Uh, the small intestine is a yang, and the heart, physical heart, is a yin. And so then those two um, aspects kind of healing and coming together. And also then the stomach, which is, um, I think she said yin, and the spleen, its counterpart, uh, yang. So... Let me just double check. I think I have that correctly. But um, so I think all of these aspects are coming together to be healed. Um, oh, yes. Yeah, stem, stomach is yang and spleen is yin. So if you're experiencing some of these things, sensitivities to certain foods, um, memories coming up from the cells or deep sadness, it, this could be a contributing factor. Um, just want to uh, put that out. So now we go into Libra, right? And Libra is the two scales, the balance. Some say the scale of justice, right? We could also look at it as balancing all aspects of our being, you know, the above and below, the left to right the inner to outer, the back to front, uh, all these aspects that are trying to come into balance, I guess. And so anything that interferes with that may come up. You know, there's been some other kind of inorganic things um, that we've talked about in our Patreon group having to do with this artificial, like, webbing technology. Um that uh, it looks like it's been placed in the subtle body. Um, and what I saw today was in myself was like, um, we were talking about like a black widow fallen spider net um, webbing kind of in there um, in that subtle body. But also today I was seeing a white webbing. Um, so the, representing the black and the white here, representing polarity, that it was kind of placed in our bodies for, to have an experience of extreme polarity and, and then bringing in karmic patterns, uh, allowing for karmic patterning to be, to be held in the, in the body. So um, that's just an FYI. And let's see, um, the, the uh, Patreon meeting that we usually put out as a blog from October, uh, you know, we'll probably be coming out more towards the end of November. But, but I wanted to just pop in for a quick uh, update on some of the things that I was seeing. And I'm not sure how all of this is going to play out, right, with the Mother Art Gates and um, with these uh, quantum substances now coming in from these uh, black holes in, um, well, that's my timer, there we go, uh, from these black holes in um, uh, Virgo of birthing galaxies, because they're going to have uh, lots of uh, gamma rays and other quantum substances in that uh, birthing galaxy. 
So anyway, I got to go. Um, hope you're all hanging in there the best you can. We're hanging in there uh, the best we can. And we will, um, if you have any comments, please feel free to add any comments. Um, and uh, okay, got to run. Take care, everyone.